Okay, here I'm going to quickly show you how to create a graph in Sheets that will also look at our trend line and the different possible slopes. We're going to add some error bars in here. So we're going to go up here to Insert, Chart, pops open the chart and it gives you what type. Now it defaults to usually what we don't want. We want a scatter plot. So scatter plot gives us our X and Y options there. Let's make this a little bigger so we can see more of it. And I don't need to see the averages there. Okay, so there is my data. Looks like I got one little high there. So let's go back in and customize it here. What we want to do, we want to look at the different series. And on this series here, height of bounce is all we have so far. Um, let's go in and let's add error bars. When we add error bars, it's going to say, it's going to say how much is your error? We're thinking that we, we are probably plus or minus three centimeters. So notice now my error bars are plus or minus three centimeters above that. Let's get rid of the data labels. We don't need those. We can just see. So now we've got, now we can add, let's add a trend line to this. And we want a linear trend line. It's automatically going to do it. For the label, what we want is the equation. So it's now going to tell us, here's our equation of that line we just added. And let's show the R squared. Remember, that's a correlation factor. You stats folks will have a better sense of it. The rest of us just know, hey, we want it to be close to 1. Um, now, I've got a line, best fit line, but it doesn't go through all of my error bars. So, so I need to say, maybe I'm a little bit more than that. So I'm going to bring this up to 4. And now notice this line should go through all of my um, error bars. So my best fit line now goes through all of them, which gives me an idea. I thought I was like two or three centimeters off. It looks like maybe we're more like four centimeters off um, to make that match. So that now we have um, error bars, and we've got a line of best fit. Now what we want to do is go in here, and we want to say, well, what's the steepest slope I might get? So if I start way down here at this one, so I've got 7.33 minus 0.4. So I'm going to go equals 7. Point, okay, let's go back here. Equals 7.33 minus my 4. Now I have a dot right at the bottom of that error bar. And let's say if I go up through, hopefully through, that one's going to draw the line too high to reach this one. So it looks like I need to go to that last one equals 73 plus my error of 4. Now I've got, if I connect a line through that, let's go back over here to, if I double click on that, should open up my customization. Again, our series is what we're interested in. We don't want to go to all series. We want to go to the steepest slope. And we want to, we don't need to add an error bar to that. We don't want our data labels. Um, and we do want a trend line through that. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go in here and make this trend line really narrow because that's not our major one. So it's, uh, and so there we can see that. Let's get rid of data labels we don't really need. Let's make sure that goes through all of our error bars. Yes, yes. Oh, it's a little low for that, right? It's going through the rest of them. So I might actually need to bring this up a tad in order to get through that. And let's see if I bring that up to, uh, let's say, try 6. We'll just try a random number. I'm almost there. So 5.5. 5. Oops. Sorry, 6.5. And now I'm getting through that error bar. So now I have, this is the steepest slope line that's going to go through all of my error bars. So that any data on that slope, if I picked that slope instead of this calculated average one, it would still match within my error range. Now I want to go to the shallowest. So now I want to start at a big number here, and I want to go not as steep. So let's go to my last one here again and try equals 73, equals 73 minus my 4. There's a dot. Notice it's a new color. And let's say I want to go... Let's try this one here again at the end. 
So I'm going to go, that's 7.33 equals 7.33 plus my 4. And now let's add a trend line to that. Again, I can double click here, open this one up. Let's customize our series. We want to look at the shallowest and we want to add a trend line and we also want to make that nice and narrow. And now that trend line, oh, it's not quite going through that one, is it? So I've got my trend line set. I can close that up and these are quite missing, so I need to bring that guy up a little bit more, right? So instead of being 69, let's say 71, maybe. So notice that bounced up a little bit. And now that's going through all of our error bars, including that one. Okay, so that's accurate. Now we need to go back and add our equations. So series, uh, let's go to this one here, steepest. Let's... Um, we want to add a trend line. We've got our trend line. We need, want to put the equation for that. So there's my steepest. There's my equation. R squared is not as important at this point. Um, we could throw it in just for the heck of it. Stats folks might be interested in seeing that. Um, and then let's go back to my other one I created. And let's do an equation there. We'll add r squared as well. So notice those are our nice light lines. I'm not liking that this isn't showing up so well. So let's go back here and let's make this a little bit thicker. Okay. So now we've got a nice, there's our average slope, 7.736. Goes with the error bars built on top of it. Here's our steepest slope, 0.78, and our shallowest slope, 0.66. And now I can make this a little bigger now that I'm happy with it. And I can maybe now I want to go out to my 150, right? If I wanted to extend this, I could go out to axes. Uh, that's title. Oh, we should give it a title, right? Let's do that. Chart title. Um, bouncing ball lab. Group Z. And that shows up on top. Ah, let's make it bold. Why not? And let's give it some color, just because color is nice and you can. Something fairly dark. And if you print it out, you want it to be able to be seen. Now let's go back to our legend here. And I think we're almost there. Oh, I wanted to bring this out wider. That's what I want. The horizontal axis. Let's bring this from zero and I always like to go slightly below zero so I'm going to go minus 10 so I can see that and let's make the maximum out to 160 now because we want to make that prediction and let's go here to our vertical um, vertical axis and let's make it go from negative 10 out to uh, what? Let's go to 100. Now are we going to see 150? 150 still doesn't show up, so we got to go a little higher. 125. Let's keep it on the even zeros. 120. Oh, too many. That's too big. 120. Now I can make my prediction right here, right? Um, and that should be it. We can clean that up a little bit. I'll show you how on other videos how to clean it up. But here we've got our error bars. We've got our steepest slope, 0.783, our shallowest, 0.663, and our average, 7.8.